You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and I am back for another episode of the Ultimate Attacking Tournament. Today we are going to be using none other than Ibrahimovic and Muriel. So two pretty interesting players, both very very good in their own right. Uh, there is a 10 rating gap between them, but what we will do first is we will have a look at what happened in the last episode. So in the last episode we saw Inform Lewandowski going up against Inform Suarez. It was a very tight affair. I'd recommend you go and watch it if you haven't already. I'll put a link on screen for you. But I'm going to reveal the results now. So it was a close one. So we had uh, 479 thumbs up for the winner and 318 for the loser. And the winner is... Inform Lewandowski, he won with the 479 thumbs up, so well done to him. We'll be seeing him in the next round to play the winner of today's contest. Right, let's jump in and see how the two players measure up against each other. So we're playing a 4-4-2, Muriel in the life, left striking position, which will all become apparent why he's there, and Ibrahimovic in the right striking position, so let's have a look at them. Okay, so we have Muriel, he has 91 pace, 87 dribbling, and he will only cost 1,400 coins. He's quite young, and he has 4-star weak foot and 4-star skills, so a very, very good player, um, quite overpowered as well, I think a lot of people will agree with that. And then we have Ibrahimovic, who costs 460,000 coins, 4-star weak foot and skill moves of 5 stars. So, um, slightly better skill rating, same weak foot. He's much taller, he's 6 foot 5. Um, he has less pace, but his shooting is a lot better. 88 shooting and 87 dribbling. So, a very good player there. Let's now uh, have a look through the team that I built around them and how I managed to get them onto full chemistry. So, what I decided to do was just do the standard thing and sort of split the team with Colombians on the left side and uh, then... League One players on the right side. So here we go. So in the centre mid positions, I chose both Guarin to get um, Muriel chemistry. He obviously gets a strong link being uh, Colombian in the same, same league. And then for um, Ibrahimovic, I got Zizoko, obviously in the same link. Doesn't give him a strong link, but uh, does, however, you know, link up with him. So that's one extra link in there. We then had to get uh, Ibrahim to full chemistry, which meant getting a strong link. And I chose his teammate. Menez, who obviously plays for PSG, giving them the strong link at the right mid position. And uh, Menez at right mid is actually very, very good, I won't lie. I've really enjoyed him. Then for Muriel, I used Zuniga at left mid. He's actually very good as well, 88 pace there. And the rest of the team sort of uh, was quite easy to build, bar the goalkeeper. So at left back, I used um, Armero, obviously another Colombian. Lots of Colombians in um, uh, Serie A if you uh, hadn't already noticed. So uh, definitely quite an easy one to build up uh, Serie A Colombian teams. And then I got Pereira at centre-back, obviously plays in the Mexican League and has 82 pace. Now, the rest of the team we put... Um, no, not Van der Veel, sorry, my bad. Uh, I was using, actually, Mariano at right-back, purely because of his pace. Then at centre-back we are using um, Sarko, um, obviously again getting a strong link with Sissoko there because he is French and plays in the same league. Now all we need to do to get full chemistry on everyone is get a goalkeeper that actually links with both of these players. Now I thought I would actually have to shuffle around the back a little bit uh, by probably putting a French right back in. Uh, for a French League 1 right back in to get uh, Sarko chemistry and then just use a Mexican League goalkeeper but I actually came across the only curled Colombian keeper on the game and he happens to play in League 1 so it was like a perfect fit and that's Ospina he plays in League 1, plays for OGC Nice so he gets links with both of them and the whole team is on uh, 9 chemistry now so uh, what we'll do now is jump into the stats and the goals so here we go, you can see all the stats and the goals on the screen now. Um, we have Muriel on the left, Ibrahimovic on the right. Now if we quickly go through them, we see that Muriel is a heck of a lot cheaper being 1,400 coins to Ibrahimovic is 460,000 coins. However, I think that uh, Ibrahimovic did perform slightly better than Muriel, getting two man of the matches to Muriel's none. He got 7.6 rating to Muriel's 7.4. He got an extra goal, six goals to five um, for Ibrahimovic there. But in terms of shot accuracy though, uh, uh, Ibra was pretty poor. He only got 50%, although he didn't uh, actually take that many shots, if I remember correctly. Um, in terms of assists, he actually did a lot better as well. He got five assists to Muriel's one. 91% pass accuracy, which is ridiculous. Unfortunately, Muriel did get 88%, which is still a very, very good pass accuracy, but it wasn't quite good enough to beat uh, Ibrahimovic there. And in terms of dribble completion, we see that Muriel won with 66% to Ibra's 59%. So a lot of these goals are a bit 
dodgy. I know um, I was experiencing a lot of lag while I was recording all the gameplay, and there's a lot of corners, so it's not the most beautiful of gameplay, but there is a very nice goal in it. I think it'll be coming up in a minute. But um, what you need to do now, guys, is decide who you want to win. What you need to do is head over to the FUT Head Squad, which is in the description of this video, and then thumb up either vote for Ibrahimovic or vote for Muriel. As you can see there, Muriel scoring a very, very nice rainbow flick. So, um, as I said, head over there, thumb up the comment you want. If you could also thumb up the squad, which is at the top right hand um, corner of the page, that would be really cool as well. But other than that, I will leave it there and I will see you all next time. Who have 